Welcome to simplefinancesupport.com. Today in this session, I would like to go over manage internal orders and uh, from the business user point of view, how a particular internal order is managed. I will show all the demo. And uh, internal order as a concept is a cost collector and uh, it is pretty much uh, used for budgeting, planning, tracking expenses, analyzing expenses, of course, reporting actuals versus commitments and all that. So part of your business control, um, you are collecting the cost in the internal order and uh, you are analyzing during the month. And uh, you are collecting that cost uh, from your purchase orders, different purchase orders. Typically expense purchase orders do have the internal orders captured and also the journals that you post uh, to the internal order and the allocations uh, which are coming from the other internal orders or maybe uh, from cost centers okay so that is what actual cost comes into the cost collector and uh, after analyzing and all the during the month and uh, you can either allocate to other cost objects or capitalize some of the cost to fixed assets or you can pretty much settle the cost to cost centers or departments or maybe for the intern, uh, internal orders if not um, you can also settle the values into uh, profitability segments um, for the you know, profitability analysis perspective okay so let me show um, uh, the demo on this entire manage uh, internal order from the business user perspective whenever is dealing with the internal order he needs to create internal order edit the internal order copy the internal order so all these are you know manage internal order part of functionalities all the transaction codes which normally create uh, change display kind of transactions are all embedded into the fairy app so the fairy app is you know business user friendly he need not to go a bunch of transactions uh, in order to perform his uh, business process okay and also you can uh, pretty much sort filter on different uh, internal orders listing Filtering is nothing but like a selection criteria and also you can create a group uh, once you create a group you can manage the internal orders part of the group also so there is a manage internal order group free app is given so that is a separate functionality part of the manage uh, internal order groups um, let me show the demo on the manage internal orders so let me go to the fairy app I'm opening the fairy app here so I kind of searched uh, using the app font finder uh, the internal order so then I have two apps manage internal order and manage internal order groups manage internal order if, if you don't have these apps and you have to ask uh, your business um, you know basis guys to assign these two apps to you okay and I'm clicking double click on this particular manage internal orders uh, so by default it comes like there is a sales selection criteria so you have company code profit center like this selection criteria is there um, you can pretty much use different filters for example you can use um, you know like you can uh, have more filters here added like more filter 21 filters are there here or you can just you know limit the filter for example I don't want company code and the profit center and functional area you know like that I can pretty much and uh, disable them from the filtering criteria so the moment I select them um, so the list is coming up here you see that there is a list like 20 21 22 these are the internal order numbers and description etc okay so let me hide this filter bar so that um, you know only the internal orders are coming up here you have create button copy functionality and edit functionality is there so let's uh, select uh, internal order 23 and click on edit so when I edit here uh, pretty much it goes and uh, you're in the edit mode for that internal order so all the tabs have come up here you see that general data assignment control status all these are the typical SAP manage internal order uh, tab and at the same time uh, different functionalities of like copy check maintain uh, settlement rules all these are uh, available here okay so let me open up the general tab and put the description here demo and other uh, fields are like you know pretty much part of your 
uh, internal order management, uh, configuration, the way that business process works, and all that, uh, you know, your consultant uh, will configure your internal order and, uh, you know, make certain fields available, certain fields disable, I mean, disappear from the screen, okay? So that is part of your configuration. So, but here, pretty much all the fields uh, which are there, for example, assignments, you know, company code level information you can assign, and all other plans and all that you know status you can see whether it is released or not so if you are maintaining the user status functionality you know you can see here okay and at the same time you can uh, pretty much go and uh, you know like click on that maintain settlement rule so which is uh, typically at the month end you will settle the internal order to a uh, cost center or another internal order you can insert here and select what type of um, you know like a settlement room if it is a cost center you will put a cost center here and let's let let me use like us 10 100 a cost center which i used earlier and put it here and say i if i click on done and the save button appears and save it okay so saving is done and then it will give a message that it is saved you see here you know that message i can see the internal order number is saved okay so again uh, uh, different tabs and uh, different other business functions are available at uh, one place itself okay and then um, you can go back to internal orders like here again you have this internal order list listed out here and uh, there is a functionality called uh, here um, like columns you can disable certain columns and enable that's a, a typical query functionality nothing to do with your internal orders but I'll show you here, like, you know, click on that uh, um, columns, uh, which columns you don't. For example, if I don't want status column, I don't want statistical order indicator for such responsible deletion of flag, flag and all other other elements. If I have only two um, L selected here, then pretty much uh, only two things will appear here. You see that the more columns you select, the more um, columns are accommodated here. And uh, naturally, you can just download this entire thing into Excel by clicking a button. So export to Excel here. So the moment you, uh, you know, click on that export Excel, that Excel is created. So like this, um, you can see the Excel which is which is appearing here. So I'm back to the internal order uh, screen here. So again, I'm um, going back. So if I click on the manage internal order groups, so it will system again shows up like a different kind of screen here. You see that like what are the groups available here, you know, it will display. I can uh, again here also the same hide filter bar filters like what filters are there. You can say click on go and you see here that you have like pretty much different groups are there. You can select a particular group and see uh, and say double click on that go for example overheads and then I'm clicking on here then system will open up like what internal orders are part of that grouping here okay so this is a nice uh, functionality here you can edit the grouping so this entire OVH group uh, having um, 2000 2000 all the internal orders will be part of that listing so normally the hierarchies are used for reporting purposes. You can use a particular hierarchy and uh, you know filter your internal orders uh, selection list uh, to report your actuals or commitments, etc. Okay. So which is like another app which is uh, uh, pretty much uh, is the part of your. Um, going back home so the manager group so both of them uh, I have shown you as a demo so pretty neat functionality overall um, and uh, takeaway is that all these functions which are there create edit or available it in one screen itself you don't require to go to multiple transaction codes in order to execute them okay 
so this is um, what all about manage internal orders uh, part of your s4 please do visit uh, simplefinancesupport.com uh, in order to learn more business uh, user um, oriented uh, business process and uh, demos and that side thank you very much for watching and uh, talk to you soon